Hey, I haven't played this in a while. Uh, I talked to them in the Discord, and basically they're working on the console ports. I don't think they have a release date set in stone yet, but a while back uh, they talked about a bunch of things they wanted to do with the game. Uh, I suggested having some kind of style system to kind of encourage people to explore the combo system more, like maybe have some kind of buffs. Uh, maybe you could unlock you know, new, new buffs for the style system, like a faster attack speed or the bullet time that you could only get from one of the war gods. Uh, we, we talked about that for a while. This was several months ago. Uh, I kind of fell out with the Discord. I just got busy with other stuff. Uh, had really checked in in a while. So I don't know if that's still happening. Uh, basically they said that they want to maybe make the uh, the Empire or the campaigns uh, take a little less time, which I think would be good. Uh, this game's going to be on the Switch. Uh, I believe they're still at least attempting to get it on the Vita. Uh, it would be good for, you know, a little bit more of a vertical slice, you know, for portable settings. Uh, a lot of the games that I put a lot of time into on the Vita, uh, you know, obviously I've played like 80 hour games like Tales of Hearts R and Odin Sphere on there, but <laughs> there's some other games that I, I frequent like Phantom Breaker and, and Darius Burst and stuff where I could just play like a couple levels when I'm on the bus and then just put it in sleep mode and come back later. So I, I think that's a good idea, but, uh, you know, the, the the sad reality with this game is that they, they didn't make ends meet. Uh, they didn't break even and uh, it's been difficult for them to kind of find the funding to continue at all. So uh, I don't know when that will happen, but uh, this isn't really a video to promote anything. I just felt like playing it. Uh, all this fighting and belly aching and crying and getting upset over the capture card. I just decided I should just play games that, that turn on and work and that means uh, stuff like this. Uh, what I'm probably going to do tomorrow is I'll do a little bit of uh, Gal Normal Turbo on Fight and Rage with uh, an arcade stick. I think that'll be a fun challenge. It's very exhausting so I'll probably play through like the first quarter of the game but uh, that'll be a little fun side thing to do. The next thing I'll be doing is the uh, the Shield Lolly on Closers. That's not going to be for a couple days so stay tuned for that. But Today I don't feel like doing the campaign. Uh, I don't feel like comment Hating it. I also haven't played it in a long time. So I'm going to go with my uh, my usual loadout here. I'm just going to play through uh, a couple levels. Uh, let me turn the sound back up. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. I actually played this during the Game Awards because I got tired of hearing about all the open world zombie games and I was uh, kind of in the zone for a while. I think this would be a great portable game. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of the better character action games on the Switch for sure. At least until Bayonetta 3 comes out. Even then, that's uh, kind of a different type of game than this is.
Uh, I'm really rusty. This is not, uh, doesn't compare to my uh, older gameplay of this, but it's whatever. I would like to see more of an incentive to use the style system. I think that's one of the, the things this game is lacking. She can do really crazy stuff, but there's no real material reward for it. Unfortunately, uh, the reality is the game did not sell well, so they don't really have the resources to do a bunch of the things they'd like to do to expand the game. Do a couple more, just for old time's sake. They gave me this code for free, and I did my best to promote it, but I'm definitely going to support them and buy this on the Switch or Vita when I can. The game is available.
But yeah, I think some, some progression would help. I don't think the kind of progression where you just grind to become invincible is what the game needs because you're definitely given all the tools to succeed in this game. It's just I think that they should have some kind of you know, progression that, that keeps people playing. Uh, there's not really a lot of material unlockables in this. The only thing you really get is the weapons, which, you know, arguably is some of the better unlockables you get. Normally in, you know, games like this, you don't get whole, you don't get four whole unlockable movesets to work for. But once you have that, there's really not a whole lot else to it. I think it would be great if they had, like, a style system or something where you could unlock buffs. Uh, I talked to them about it several months ago, and they said it was a great idea, but unfortunately they just don't have the the resources or the funds to implement it and that's <laughs> I'm sure with all the the belly aching I've done and the stress I've had over this capture card I'm sure I can I could definitely relate to that uh, you know just having all these cool ideas and stuff and just not having the resources to do it I'm glad that I was able to help at least a little bit I hope that the game will do well on switch I, I told them that there's lots of indie games that just flounder and uh, you know they don't really find uh, their own following on Steam that uh, they do really well on the Switch just because people are more interested in smaller games on Nintendo products and also there's always the classic Nintendo drought to worry about. We have uh, you know developers like Capcom basically saying that uh, we didn't suspect that the or expect that the Switch was going to do well so we don't have anything to make which is why they have like a Monster Hunter port like a low effort Monster Hunter port they have uh, you know two Street Fighter re-releases and that's pretty much it so I, I think it's good that they are prioritizing the Switch right now. Uh, when it comes out, if I do have one, then I'll definitely do a, a port review and a, you know, kind of a signal boost for them. But yeah, I just felt like doing a couple runs of this. Uh, I definitely want to focus on more stress-free or uh, less stress-focused stuff for a while to kind of chill out. Uh, hopefully once Christmas is over, uh, I'll probably get some money from my family or something. I'll, I'll have some more funds to do new projects. Uh, there's not really anything on PC that I'm looking forward to, so uh, worst case scenario, maybe I can put some funds towards a new capture card. That'll be the end of that little drama. So we'll see what happens. I hope you guys liked the commentary today. Uh, today's been a rough day fighting with the card, so I just wanted to do something more chill. I hope you guys understand, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll probably do that uh, fight and rage stick challenge video for tomorrow's stuff. Peace.